Hello everyone. Um, today I want to bring up a topic of concern um, that should concern the entirety of America. Um, and that's the topic of repentance and forgiveness um, by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, which is what's needed first in order that we see revival come to our nation. That's the road to revival. There are other things that need to happen, but there must be repentance first from sin um, that is plaguing our nation. Specifically this morning, uh, the Lord wants me to address the black community. Um, the black community in America uh, is plagued by sin, um, and the, the type of sin that is open, uh, that's done out in the open, uh, so not only are they are they plagued within the, their own communities, uh, their own communities are riddled by sin. Um, it's also uh, in full view for the entire nation to see, which is why nobody wants to live there, uh, not even black people. But they are are forced to. Some are forced to live there, um, and it goes back. It dates back a long time. Um, the northern tribes of Israel, uh, and specifically by name, um, let me turn there, uh, northern tribes being uh, tribes of uh, Gad, Asher, um, Ephraim, and Manasseh. Um, these tribes were black people, uh, mostly made up of black people. The northern tribes of Israel, these tribes were ensconced in sin, um, so much so that God had to send the prophet Elijah uh, to purify them, as he was a purifying agent uh, for the, north, uh, the northern tribes of Israel, and um, God used him in a mighty way um, to take out uh, the prophets of Baal um, and to purify that nation. If you look at the northern tribes of Israel, uh, not Judah, but look at the nation of Israel in the book of Kings, First and Second Kings, uh, these were all uh, black kings who were all um, seceded by way of, of regicide, meaning every king, uh, except for one, that is, every king was killed in order that the next king take his place. Um, the, the only time the throne was handed down um, via way of inheritance was um, Jehoaz and Jehoash. Uh, the, that was father and son. All other kings of Israel, um, and I've got the number here. Eighteen. Eighteen kings minus the, the two I've talked about, the father and son. Eighteen kings, they were all seceded by uh, regicide. And that's because they were, they were ensconced in sin, uh, and they simply could not repent. Uh, after warning, warnings from God, warnings after warning after warning, uh, prophets were sent to them and murdered because they continued to warn them of their sin. Uh, sexual immorality, um, you know, adultery uh, uh, between king and king. Um, if you read that story of, of Ahab, um, and his familiarity with Jehoshaphat, um, that, that's sexual immorality. Um, so you go on and on through the scriptures and you see how the nation of Israel just, just kept sinning and sinning and they could not repent. God warned them and warned them over and over, over the course of, of thousands of years. And finally, they were exiled. Um, and many of the descendants of the nation of Israel in the north um, are here in America today. Um, and they were taken captive, the Bible says they were taken captive by other nations. Uh, they would be taken captive, and that, that includes slavery. Um, and we today, um, we wonder why our communities are the way they are. And it's because of a, of a, a, a lack of repentance of sin. Um, sin is the biggest issue plaguing the black community, not racism. Racism is an issue in our country. I don't, I don't want to diminish that, but it is not the issue that is holding 
black the black community back. That's sin, and it 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 requires repentance, and with repentance comes forgiveness every time. See the problem with with sin being what holds you back is that it it gives way to reprobate minds, um, and by that it means that that sin is what guides your life. It it literally takes you step by step through what you do each day, um, and you don't realize it. That's that's in a nutshell what what a reprobate mind is. You were led by your sin, and you've lost track of the ways of God. Um, so much so that many of us in the black community, when when we hear people of other races uh, say that we're less intelligent or stupid, um, we're offended by it when we shouldn't be, because if you are of equal or or greater intelligence, you're not offended by statements of that, like that. Uh, you simply say, you know, please stop. Um, you know it's not the truth. But many of us actually feel that way. When somebody insults you and you are offended by it, please do check, have, a, have, a, have a heart to heart with yourself and pray and seek the Lord because you shouldn't be offended by that stuff. Many of us have felt inadequate or less intelligent than others. And that's because you're blocked by your sin. God wants you to know that you're smarter, you, you're smarter than you think, you're smart beyond measure. But many of you are blocked by sin. Your lifestyle is literally uh, guided by it. So please repent of your sin. Uh, please, if you're watching this, um, please be in prayer. Always pray the Lord's Prayer every time. Um, it's the most powerful prayer you can pray. And when you repent of your sin, just ask the Lord to reveal to you what it is that, that he wants you to do. Uh, and he will. Um, pray and seek, uh, seek to prophesy. The Bible does not command that we pray to prophesy, but it does, it does say to seek, earnestly seek prophecy. So I would encourage you to do that um, and watch what God does in your life. It, it, it's amazing the things he will show you. Um, and with, with that, when our nation seeks God, when they're, they're on their faces in repentance and they seek the Lord, the revival will come. But God does not dwell with sin. So please repent of your sin. Turn to Jesus Christ. If you are watching this video and you have not received the Lord Jesus Christ, as your personal Lord and Savior, please pray this prayer with me right now if you would like to be saved. Jesus Christ, I believe you died on the cross and you rose again to save me from my sin. Jesus Christ, I accept you into my heart as my personal Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. If you prayed that prayer with me today and you believed it in your heart, welcome to the kingdom of the living God. You are saved. God bless you. By the way, if you have given to the ministry of the Prophet Elijah Revealed, um, <clears throat> or if you have given to me personally, I just want to say thank you. Uh, thank you very much. It's helped me out quite a bit, um, and I appreciate it very much. Um, as you know, if you have given, as you know, uh, I'm fighting some personal battles right now, uh, but I know that God's going to see me through those. Uh, if you have not given and you'd like to, please uh, find my Venmo information uh, on the uh, YouTube videos or or on uh, many of the Facebook posts as well. Um, again, thank you, and please pray the Lord's Prayer every time. Uh, please be praying for me, uh, and I'll be praying for you. Thank you very much, and God bless you.